If you thought Google Now was cool, the widget is even better. Nokia responds to recent tablet rumors, and we show you just how to get wireless charging on your Galaxy S3. I'm Jaime Rivera, with enough wires to light up my neighbor's house, and this is Pocket Now Daily. Google Now is probably one of the most ingenious features to reach smartphone land in the past half decade, and Google has just made it better. In the past, you had to access the menu in order to be able to see your cards, but now you can actually just load the widget that was recently made available as of a recent update to Google Search as an application. So make sure that all of you using Jelly Bean right now get the update and enjoy the new service. And for those of you cheering over the Nokia tablet rumors that we saw yesterday in their Pakistan presentation, well, Nokia just came clear to state that it's not really something that's going to happen. Apparently, those were just mock-ups of new products that Microsoft could probably do in the future with Nokia branding. And we do know that Nokia has been working hard on a tablet, but the problem is that it seems that Nokia is still uncertain about their future with Windows Phone 8 or even Windows 8 for the matter, as they apparently have stated to some source that they will not be building these unless Windows Phone 8 takes off. Interesting. Also, for those of you waiting on that 5.5 inch LG Optimus G Pro that's been rumored recently, well, LG was nice enough to provide some renders and no, that's not a Galaxy Note 2. That's actually the device and well, they've also been nice enough to provide some specs on the device. It's really cool, hit the links in the description for details. And so far, well, it's just a big knockoff. I wonder why. And for those of you big fans of wireless charging out there, well, Michael Fisher wasn't planning on waiting for Samsung to bring the functionality to the Galaxy S3. He just filmed a full video walkthrough on how to get it done using a Palm Pixie back. And well, links in the description for full details on the video and make sure you watch because it's kind of interesting how you could just get that done just out of the blue. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, it seems that that Motorola X phone that's been rumored for the last couple of weeks is more than just a new phone that's coming. We heard that Motorola was working on compelling hardware, but apparently it does seem that Google is also working on some compelling software to come to this device uniquely. And apparently this will be even better than what we get in Nexus devices. And it does make a lot of sense because we do know that Google pretty much owns Motorola anyway. So it's just a matter of time before they figure out how to make the company differentiate itself. But that me to the question of the day. Do you still consider Motorola to be a good smartphone maker? In the past, it used to be my favorite smartphone company, but sadly, they lost their edge recently. So leave us a comment down below. What do you think about the company? And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.